Hello friends, welcome to Internet Networks. My name is Sergei Francis. In this video, we will see the configurations of VRRP. Well, VRRP stands for Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol, and you can see here I have wrote everything about this topic and and also the HSRP and GLBP. So there's a link in the description box. So you can visit it out. I have wrote everything. So let's go to the um, lab. So in GNS, we here you can see the topology over here. We have uh, few routers router 1 2 3 and 4 and you can see the IP addressing to configure the VRRP uh, you can configure in a very few step first configure the IP addressing as per your topology and then we configure the default gateway uh, from um, between router 1 and router 3 router 2 and router 3 after that we configure the static routing static route from router 3 to router 2 and router 3 to router 1 after that we configure the uh, VRRP uh, make the primary and secondary and after that authentication we will see okay first we have to configure the IP address uh, starting from router 1 so let's get started so this is our router 1 let me minimize this to fit in this topology okay so let's get started first we change the host name so host name and we are using VRRP uh, this this router is going to be our primary so let's give the name prime ok now configure the IP address so interface we have two interface one is serial 4 slash 0 and another one is fast Ethernet 1 slash 1 so serial 4 slash 0 and the IP address is 13.1.1.1 uh, Two five five dot zero dot zip dot zero and no shutdown command. Okay, exit. Another one is fastnet uh, one slash one. So fastnet one slash one. The IP address is hundred dot one dot one dot ten two five five dot zero dot. No, it's uh, twenty four. Okay, two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and no shutdown. Exit. Now let's verify do show IP interface brief command ok you will see over here we have the serial interface the IP address correct another one is the fastnet which is here fastnet 1 slash 1 ok now let's go to the router 2 ok this is going to be our this router is going to be our secondary router in the event of failure means if the, this link is failed then router 2 is going to be give the backup ok so change the name so host name VRRP and uh, it's a secondary so secondary ok router 2 have two interfaces one is serial one, uh, serial 4 slash 1 and fast, fast net 0 slash 0 so interface we have serial uh, 4 slash 1 the IP address is uh, uh, 23.2.2.1 255.0.0.0 and no shutdown exit ok another one is fastnet 0 slash 0 so interface we have fastnet 0 slash 0 IP address is uh, uh, 100.1.1.20 255.0.0 the mask is 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown exit ok so I am not configuring the IP address on these PCs uh, we will do this uh, later but we need to configure the IP address on this uh, router 3 ok so router 3 is acting as a ISP router in our case so <coughs> and router 3 have some routes which is 33.1.1.1 to 33.1.3.1 so ok now let's change the host name host name is uh, we are using isp router ok so now let's configure the ip address on both the serial interfaces 4 slash 1 which is uh, 23.2.2.2 23.2.2.2 and 255.0.0.0 no shutdown ok exit 
another one is fast uh, serial four slash zero so interface um, serial four slash zero the IP address is um, IP address what is the IP address let me see 13 dot okay so 13 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2 255.0.0.0 and no shutdown exit and out of 3 also I have some roots let me give the IP address on the loopback interfaces so loopback 1 the IP address for this loopback is 33.1.1.1 255.255.255.0 and again loop back to the IP address is going to be uh, 2.1 3 the IP address is going to be 3.1 okay and now let's verify to show IP interface brief okay the loopbacks and we have some serial interfaces both the serial interfaces are up okay looks good so now we are going to configure the default route okay from router on router 2 and router 1 so starting from router 1 and uh, IP route uh, 0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0 0.0.0 .0 and the uh, serial four slash zero okay exit now on the router two okay so IP route zero dot zero dot zero zero dot zero dot zero and the serial four slash one okay exit let's verify show IP route static okay we have the default gateway over here okay now let's configure the static route from on router 3 so router 3 okay configure terminal and IP route um, 100.1.1.0 and 255.255.255.0 and serial we have two two routes uh, one is far, uh, uh, serial 4 slash 0 and 4 slash 1 so serial 4 slash 0 serial 4 slash 0 ok again same command change the interface serial 4 slash 1 4 slash 1 ok 4 slash 1 ok now let's verify show IP route static you can see we have two routes ok so now we are ready ok so starting from our primary router so configure terminal here we have the interface uh, fastnet 1 slash 1 and uh, VRRP uh, you can give the group number I am using 100 and uh, give the IP IP is uh, default virtual gateway in our case we have 100.1.1.100 so we are going to give this address 100.1.1.100 ok now we have to give the priority and make this uh, this router as a primary so we you can see over here now this uh, this router has become the master ok now VRRP um, 100 and uh, we have to give the priority so priority um, priority level we are going to give is uh, 120 and uh, we have to give the authentication also so VRRP 100 and authentication uh, MD5 and key string 
is uh, you give the any name I'm giving the internet this is the simple name you can give your own now we have to track so VRRP 100 track 1 exit so you can see the the configuration the command first the interface in our case fastnet 1 slash 1 after that we are going to configure the virtual uh, virtual IP address or you can say the virtual gateway okay after that we configure the priority and then authentication and then we track okay Ex exit so now we are going to track the fast and one slash one in in the case of failure so track track one and interface interface is a uh, serial um, 4 slash 0 this is a serial 4 slash 0 so serial 4 slash 0 ok and line protocol check the line protocol ok interface uh, fast net one slash one and uh, VRRP 100 track 1 okay decrement 30 decrement value we are using 30 so exit again if you if you have any issues or understanding what is the VRRP what is the timers and priority so there is a link in the description box you can visit it out uh, and see the configurations and the theory okay so let's go to the okay so now let's configure on router 2 we are not giving the any priority and uh, things and we are using the default okay so configure terminal here we have interface uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so 0 slash 0 and VRRP 100 and the IP IP is our default gateway which is 100.1.1.100 okay now we are we have to give the authentications so VRRP 100 and uh, authentication authentication md5 okay and uh, key string and give the name we use the internet over there so i'm using the same name okay exit you can see over here the statement is the fast night zero slash zero can see the number 100 and state master to backup now this our this router is going to be a backup router in the in the event of the failure okay now let, let's uh, run some show commands show vrrp and interface is uh, fast ethernet 1 slash 1 so interface fast ethernet 1 slash 1 so let's see you see the group number the state is master the virtual IP address is 100.1.1.100 and uh, you can see the virtual MAC address advertisement um, interval you can change this uh, everything and we change the uh, you can see we configure the priority is 120 okay the authentication is MD5 and many more let me run another command show VRRP okay you can see same thing <laughs> now let's go to the router 2 and verify okay show VRRP you can see the state is backup the virtual IP address is 100.1.1.100 and the advertisement interval and priority is 100 okay the authentication is md5 the master router ID is uh, 100.1.1.10 
which is this router one and okay make sure that the LAN traffic can access the internet which is this router 3 and the root says 33.1.1.1 and in the in the events of failover and ensure that the router 2 which is for the backup become the master so let's see so first we have to configure the IP address on this PC to verify so router 4 actually router 4 is acting as a PC so configure terminal and change the name host uh, PC ok now we have to give the command no IP routing so it will not do any routing ok now let's configure the IP address the IP address is we are using is um, ok interface fastnet 0 slash 0 ok the IP address is uh, 100.1.1.22 okay 255.255.255.0 okay exit oh let me give the command no shutdown no shutdown okay now let's give the IP address on this PC so IP 100.1.1.2 255.0.0.0 the default gateway is uh, default gateway is 100.1.1.100 okay let's verify show IP you can see the IP address the default gateway okay now let's try to ping from this uh, PC to this uh, router ping 33.1.1.1 can see the reply now PC or PC1 can ping the this router 3 which is the ISP router ok and it's going through ok let me ping from this uh, router ok ping 33.1.1.1.1 ok now we are going to trace the route trace 33.1.1.1 so it is going via 10.10.10.1.1.10 means this is route, uh, router 4 is going via router 1 this is going this way why I'm doing this this way is going via router 1 ok now let's uh, shut down this interface and see who become the master so router 1 and we are going to shut down the interface um, configure terminal and interface um, fastnet oh, 1 slash 1 and we are going to shut down this interface ok ok now let's check or on the router 2 what statement we are having ok you can see the statement fast return 0 slash 0 which is this interface state backup to master so now this uh, this router 2 is uh, master let me verify show vrrp you can see the virtual ip address is the you can see the state is master so now the router 2 is become the master before the this this router is for the backup so this is how you can configure can see the reply ok so this is how you can configure the VRRP I hope you like this video if you like please give a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching this video and make sure if you want, if you have any confusion you can comment or you can you can uh, you can read this documents I have wrote ok 
सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच